Earlier today, we saw widespread showers moving through central Missouri. Now, this is part of a greater system known as a QLCS or squall line. Now, what is that? Well, it's a collective group of storms that often merge into a single line and they move together. Now, a wide range of damages can occur from these systems, anywhere from strong winds, tornadoes, to even some widespread flooding. Now, thankfully, we did not get the worst part of the system that has been tied to this low pressure system. A lot of that's been off to the south and east towards Arkansas, Louisiana, and Alabama, where they've seen some tornado warnings and wind damages earlier today. Now, parts off to the northwest towards Nebraska, seeing some widespread accumulating snowfall as the system continues to move in. Now, when it comes to the storm part of the system, you need a few things. One's going to be moisture, another's going to be energy in the environment, and a reason for it to get going. Well, the reason for it to get going is that cold front, and it's going to meet what we call CAPE. So it's going to be energy in the environment that allows that system to kind of run through. Now, you don't need too much associated with this system. These values are actually pretty low, but as we head off into the colder parts of winter and early spring, you really just need what we call wind shear. So it's going to be shifting winds at different speeds. And the last thing, that moisture, you're looking at dew points associated with this system. The green is going to be warmer dew points. So towards that 60 degree range, it meets up at that front and allows the system to form those storms needed to move through all together as one line. I'm ABC 17 Storm Track Meteorologist, James Gotch.